filmed this welcome back to my channel this is a new vlog if it's your first time here welcome i'm excited you guys can tell i'm going to just you guys soon as to why i'm that excited so let me just drop it now guys i'm traveling across the border of this country check it out huh Guys, I need this break. I need it. I'm traveling with my sister. I don't think that she's ever come on the vlogs before, the sister that I'm traveling with. But guys, I'm so excited. Let me show you guys proof. These are my suitcases. I'll get back to this shortly. So before I get into the travel stuff, I want to thank Bipower for sponsoring this video. I've talked about Bipower before. I talked about them in a video that I did early last year. And I know that a lot of you are familiar with Bipower, but I know that a good number of you probably do not know <laughs> the goodness <laughs> of that <laughs> is Bipower. And I'm, everything I'm saying here, I'm speaking from a place of personal experience. Their service is very good. So what is Bipower? Bipower is a utility payment platform. So they essentially make it very easy for you to buy power. They connect you to electricity distribution companies around you or whichever one is for your area. You can buy power from them via buy power. So basically, you don't have to queue up anywhere. You don't have to go to a bank. You don't have to stand behind anybody. You don't have to put chair behind anybody to hold your place or space or whatever. That's all in the past with buy power. So with their services, you can buy power for both prepaid and postpaid meters via the platforms that they've made available. And it's not just buying the units and tokens. There's so many things that you can actually do via their website and app. You can actually download utility bills. I don't know if you guys know how convenient this utility bill, like downloading a utility bill feature is. You know, you're not going to ask anybody, no management, let's say even your parents, because sometimes if you live in a family home, you have to go and actually ask do some searching to get the utility bill. If you use buy power, you can just download it from their website. How cool is that? There's also this new feature that they added. It is like a gifting option. So you can actually gift units or electricity to your friends and people. Guys, around the time I spoke to you guys last year, they didn't have this feature. Yes, they have it now. Do you know how cool that is? Please, my birthday is next month. I'm letting you guys know. If you don't know what to get me, get me electricity. I take or beg you, okay? You can actually do that. No, this is, we're not talking about like, oh, people are like, oh, what do you want? Buy me credits. No. They should, nobody should buy your credit. They should buy your electricity. That one is heavier. And one of my favorite features, I actually used it today before I started filming, is the reminder option. So you can set a reminder. I just bought some units this afternoon and immediately you finish buying and paying and then your token pops up on the screen. It asks you if you would like it to set a reminder to remind you to buy electricity maybe a month for me it was like 21 days from now so so even if you forget the app can remind you guy maybe it's time to buy electricity so that you don't just get cut off i love it when someone decides to provide a service that is kind of tied to convenience nigeria is stressful enough right and anybody that is trying to relieve my stress one way or the other i am jumping on their boat there are four main ways to purchase electricity units on buy power four main ways and um, the first one is the website buypower.ng which is my favorite one the second way is through their app it's available for download on the google play store and on the ios app store it's very easy to use and there are actually certain features on the app that you you do not necessarily get on the website just fyi so you guys know the third way is via whatsapp the whatsapp number is going to appear on the screen you can buy power via this whatsapp number that i have on the screen right now and then the last one is via ussd code so if your internet has failed if your one excuse is that you don't have access to the internet where you are or you just don't have access to the internet where you are as long as you have a phone you can buy power via this ussg code that i have on the screen right now customer service is also 24 7 24 7 no joke they are available on live chat whatsapp facebook messenger and via phone Give them a call <laughs> ring them like i told you guys i love to use the browser i just like select an amount pay for it and then immediately after you get an email and a text message from buy power with your token number and then it also pops up on your computer screen after you've paid so what i just do is the minute i get the token on my phone number i walk to my prepaid meter because that is what i use now i enter the token number and it just accepts it and that's it like very easy 
very very easy i'm going to have all the information that you guys will need in the description box so please don't forget to check there everything will be in the description box so basically right now i have three boxes i don't think or i'm not sure if i'm going to use these three but i might end up using them because it's not like this one is like full because this is where all my clothes are but i have some hats okay and i and shoes and i don't know like i just don't want things to get squashed up or suit or to change shape before i get to my destination and let me show you guys my nails i got my nails done yesterday um i did not vlog that but i i really like it i really like this whole like design aesthetic theme that a lot of us are doing on our nails right now i don't even know if these type of nails have a name i don't know i got it done or i got them done at nearly cure okay test results so you can't leave the airport until your covid test result comes out i hope that you guys can hear me but you can't leave the airport until your covid test result comes out guys the for the cotton board that they use for the test it was so thick i just went in and they turned it <sighs> my nose feels better than it did when they finished the test shop it wasn't that bad so i'm waiting for my results So I just got in uh, my box is here. This place is really nice. It's an Airbnb um, that I got. I really like the picture that I saw online and I asked, I was like, will it look like it looks on the picture? And it looks just like that. So there's a fridge here. Uh, my sister is not yet here. She just boarded, so she should be here soon. There's an oven in case you want to bake. There is, um, what is this again? I don't even, I can't, that's how tired I am. <laughs> There's a washing machine, um, a microwave, um, just the basics, necessary things in here. Another one for brushes. There's an iron here. Guys, this place is really, really cute. Oh, there's a little ironing board here. Tucked it in really nicely. A nice wardrobe. Wardrobe. However, I decided to pronounce it. One of the LED lights here is flickering. That's why we have this thing happening. But I hope that you guys can, I don't know, you guys are enjoying this, irrespective of. A nice couch, TV, right? There's a little corner here where you can sit. I really like, this is so me, this whole minimalist vibe that we have going on here. But before I get to this place, let me show you guys the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Nice, 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 nice. There's this nice sit-out area here, guys. This is so nice. 
like so lovely and there's a pool there's a pool guys this place is lovely this is just what i wanted and i'm happy that it looks exactly the way that it did in the pictures on airbnb see see this one see this one <laughs> So Ugochi's finally here. She actually came with stuff. So she stopped somewhere to buy things. Um, so we'll figure out what to eat. So we are at Black Star Square. Like I think everybody who comes to Ghana comes here to take pictures, basically. And I'm not gonna be left out. So it looks really nice from here. We're going to cross the road. We're going there. We got cheese on your horse. <laughs> it won't go anywhere, relax. This is it. <laughs> Do it again. We've yeah. stopped somewhere to get ice cream. I don't really want to, because we're going to have dinner. And I don't want to ruin it, so. I want to be hungry enough for dinner. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Should, should, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> is it good? I still don't think that I want ice cream. I think I'll just wait to have dinner. So they're just telling us that the place where we're supposed to go for dinner. What's it, what's it called again? Kozo. That we have to wear heels. Guys, I don't have the energy to wear heels today. <laughs> but it's not so you guys shouldn't come for me because every time I go out there's this Nigerian drink called Chapman and that's what I order and I'm trying to it looks like this and you're like, next thing you see in the comment section Dim, I can't believe you went all the way to Ghana and asked them for Chapman that's not what this is this is berry lemonade but it looks just like Chapman it tastes good though day three in Accra day one didn't really count because to be honest we landed that morning did a couple of things and went to bed so that we could just start enjoying Accra fully the next day so yesterday was the first day that we went out ate just hung out with some people so today we want to go to Osu Castle and some marketplace like where they sell like art stuff um, that's the plan for today and then end it with dinner we're not going to come back here before going out again we're just not going to i'm wearing this cute mustard dress i'm going to show you guys in the mirror and i'm sure that you guys will see it fully later on but that's basically the plan my sister normally lived in ghana for a while like for about six years there about and she made some really like close friends her friends are like literally family and they've just been with us throughout this trip just helping us out with stuff hanging out telling us where to go like just i'm happy like i'm happy that she has friends that love her like that because they are doing all of this because of her and not because of me so i'm just happy that my sister has friends in ghana that love her this much guys they've just made everything so easy for me and Ugochi since we got here let me show you guys my outfit this dress is so dramatic let me move the suitcase. <laughs> this dress is so dramatic. I got it from ASOS. The back, I'm hoping that you guys can see, but the back is open. Um, it just looked the way that I hoped it would look on me, on me. This mirror is a bit narrow, but guys, I really love it. it the fabric is a bit heavy, it's linen. So I'm hoping that I don't sweat too much, but guys, <clears throat> this is it i've wanted to go to osu castle ever since i read home going by ya gyasi i hope i pronounced that right gyasi yeah jayasi <laughs> god please but i always just say yeah every time i'm talking about that author i was just telling you guys of that book recently about how i think everyone has to read it um i just want to see it i want to see the castle so that's the plan
Castle is closed. Also, Castle is closed. I want to cry. <laughs> Guys, like, I was like, anytime I'm in Ghana, like, it's like something I had already said that anytime I ever come to Ghana in this life, I want to go to Osu Castle. You know, after I read that book, but guys, what can what can I do? What can we do? What can we do? I'll probably come to Ghana again. God knows when I'll come to Ghana again. And if I do, then maybe we'll visit the castle. It's closed because of COVID, by the way. If you're wondering why it's closed, it's closed because of COVID. This castle is so close, but so far away. <laughs> So we stopped at the Kwame Nkrumah Park. I think this place is called. I think that this place is dedicated to Kwame Nkrumah and there's this car here. Um, doesn't really have anything written saying what the car is about, but I know that this car has something to do with Kwame Nkrumah. So, it's a nice view. And there's a picture of Kwame, I think down there. The names are there, and then what's happening? Greatness. Okay. Hey, Wallahi. <laughs> I think I like this and I'm, I think I'm going to get it. Okay, how much is this? The dress. Is that too expensive? It's too expensive. I need to know how much it is. 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 I need to know yeah, you just fold it up, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, put it in. So you take this one picture. Then you come, then you come for it. Thank you. So no, no share, but I would like to. No, 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 thank you. I will come tomorrow. I need that. I would want this. I'm trying to get this with this. No, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Carry on. You're organizing what? For who? Who is going to meet you? I'm signing autographs. Yes. 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 I'm
guys we're going out later this evening but i just wanted to rest so today is the first day that we actually didn't just like wake up having to do something and um lunch is here so most of our meals since we came here they've been from relish by abzi and let me tell you guys guys their food is so good so they brought pizza like they do everything they brought pizza and some rice and she even brought lasagna i'll open this up now to show you guys guys their food is so good i've eaten everything from them breakfast rice meat I'm trying to open this lasagna Oh, look at that. Guys, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to leave their details in the description box so that you guys can check them out. If you ever come to Ghana, hit these people up. If you're in Accra and you've not had anything from them, I'd highly recommend their food, I'm telling you. Day four, I'm wearing this crop top and boyfriend jeans and slippers. Okay, probably show you guys the full outfit later, but that's, you know. That's what I'm wearing out today. I just come for my black so and possibly the liquid one for oh, look at me. <laughs> the new black, the new black so. And I think I'll get some liquid ones as well. The need for new as well. Yes, yes. Okay. This place is so nice, guys. <sighs> I keep talking about not crying, not crying, not crying. Like, I don't know when I'll ever come into their physical store, but here I am. <sighs> it's lovely. I love how they did this place up. So I'll just have, um, yeah. I'll have about five of the, five of these. Five of the meal. Yeah, and then the liquid ones are how much? 60. CDs per bottle. 60 CDs per, per bottle. Per bottle. I just left no prayer. Um, got a few things you guys already saw. So I came here and Uguchi is having the time of her life. Sorry. This is Sufu and life food. According to Anissa, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Sorry? Excuse us. Yes, we're not repeating that. <laughs> so, so she's eating Sufu and life soup and that's what I ordered as well. I really want to try this because they said it's really, really good. What, what soup do you have inside here? The same life soup. Goat life soup. Why is it in different dish, um, dishes? So that's how it comes when you dish it out. When yours comes, you see it's the same. So I'm waiting patiently. Yeah. So I have food here with light soup. Where's the crab? I, I think it will be inside there somewhere. There's no crab. I cannot see one single crab. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This is the fufu and this is the light soup, right? And I'm supposed to scoop with this, right? Yeah. So I'm supposed to scoop with this and scoop the soup. I shall sure like it. It's good, it's good, you're gonna like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing she did. It's nice. It, it reminds me of like amala. So there's this thing called amala and ewedu. And when you mix it up minus the bagiri, there's this stew thing that they put in it. It tastes very similar to that. It's nice. See me doing it in the name of the father. <laughs> If you have enough money at least to 
like um, pay for the tickets. Yeah. But now when they go for all their meetings. I just dropped to Gucci off at the airport and I'm here to try Wache. I want to eat Wache. Um, guys, my eyes look a bit, yeah. I need to sleep. But I want to try Wache and I'm here with David. So we're at this place because he was like, oh, you're not going to eat good Wache in a restaurant. You have to come to this place, guys. And there's a massive queue. So you guys should pray for me. I'm going to eat Wache. I already told them. Something that. like this is fine. Something like this is here, fine. So this is David. <laughs> David is taking me to go eat Uwache. And he was like, this is the best Uwache. Is this where you always eat to get your Uwache Yeah, actually. It's okay. like one of the best. One okay. of the best. I what he would get and David helped me um pick what he just she just asked me like questions do you like fish I was like yeah he was like what else did you ask me plantain you asked me if I like goat meat I said not so much so we're going to open this up so David was just saying that the leaves give it flavor and I was telling him that with moi moi that like moi moi that we eat in Nigeria is literally the same the leaves give it flavor as well so this is so this is what I have here pasta Rice and beans. David, what? David, what and what and what and what do we have here? Um, fish, egg, meat, and then salad, macaroni, gari, plantain, and the cow. I don't know what you guys call it. Cow is back. beef. Oh, oh, what? Do we, I don't know what the back is called. It's not. No, cow, I know the leg. It's not cow leg. No, no just a beef. Just, is it? No. Yeah, we call it really. Really? I don't, I don't know what we call what, it. What's the one I did yesterday? You know, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cow skin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is what we have here. So, I'm going to eat and tell you guys what I think. There's plantain in here as well. I'm really curious because this is Gary. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Gary, so I want to see how this tastes. With... Hold on. Did they add anything to the Gary? I actually like the way that the Gary tastes. Mm -hmm. yes, it's just so old and oil. Like the oil comes to Because this is so good. I actually didn't expect it to be this good. Yes. Your what? Oh, sorry. And you can come and eat with me. The whole thing just goes together in a way that I did not expect it to. So interesting. That is not bad at all. The Gary is the biggest shocker here because I was like Gary with spaghetti and rice, guys. Good. Yeah, I like this. So let me eat. But well, I'm wearing this dress. This is what I'm wearing out to lunch. I think I need to tie the belt a bit tighter so that it hugs my body more. But yeah, this is the dress I'm wearing. It's from Topshop. I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar Every time I said I would be the precious girl from the bathroom we had to use it really quickly i'm somewhere else now i came to a restaurant to do dinner with um 
my sister's friends were technically my friends, you know, Anissa, Solomon, Nanaya, David, the whole gang. I'm having dinner with everyone before I leave because my flight is very early tomorrow. And we're at this place called Brasa, so Brasa, Brasa. <laughs> I don't know, but the name is probably going to be somewhere in the description box, but that's where we are. So.
Jesus help us. Right? Look at my boxes. Look at my boxes. I rolled these things into like they were weighed, everything. Guys, look at my boxes. Look at this was a 45 minute flight. Like these boxes have gone so many places with me. And just less than one hour from here to Accra, everything damaged my boxes. Guys, look at look at my boxes. <laughs> I'm back home. I have some packages that I think I'll unbox in the next vlog. Um, these are my boxes. Like, I got back yesterday. I was so tired because I had to do some very important things after I came back initially. But, but I wanted to show you guys these suitcases again because what happened to them is just wild to me. Like I explained to some of you, I've had these since 2019. And when I traveled to Italy, you guys remember that vlog? Um, I bought these and all the trips that I had, all the work-related travel that I vlogged some of them in 2019, I went with these suitcases. Nothing happened to them. So I still can't get past the fact that Accra to Lagos, this is what happened. Guys, these things were literally like, they were ripped off, right? Thankfully, I've gone through my box. Nothing is missing, but at least has to be held accountable for all of this. I went to their office yesterday and I filled a form, a damages form, and they told me to state the price of the suitcases and everything. And after doing that, this is the second one, right? And after doing that, they basically asked me to bring these boxes back to the airport. But then I was not asking them, so when you guys look at this or whoever it is, because they said somebody else needs to look at it, I was like, why couldn't the person look at it then and there while I was in their office complaining? They said, no, that the suitcases have to be brought back to the airline's office. And that's what I'm going to try to do today. Send these boxes back to the airport. But then I was asking them, how do I get my suitcases back? Because I don't want you guys to be the ones to dispose of them for me. Like, I've gone so many places with this. I have like a sentimental... Like attachment to these to these suitcases so even if like i have to dispose of them i want to be the one to do so so i'm sending these back to the airport just wanted to let you guys know guys my hair is really like a mess right now but i'm going to start editing this vlog just work on it i have a few things that i have to do but i want to really work on this vlog so that i'll see if we can go up tomorrow like I said, Noma has very good friends in Ghana who, like, to me at this point, they are my friends. So thank you, Anissa. Thank you, Solomon. Thank you, David. Thank you, Nanaya. Thank you, Judith. Um, am I missing someone? I don't think I'm missing anyone. So, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So in case you missed my Instagram stories or you didn't watch my Insta stories from this trip, I've created a Ghana highlight. Go watch that and check me out on Instagram. Follow me as well. I like to curate and create content on there. You know, yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next one.